It's so dark in here. Everything's dark. <laughs> Thank you.
Good girl. Good morning, everybody. So the whole purpose, all I'm trying to do is just show some of the live stuff that we're actually doing with that new pup spry. So I got her out this morning and fed her and watered her. And then the other dog's the same. And then um, now we're just trying to get her to settle down. So if you watch, if you're getting in late, but if you watch in the beginning, she was really antsy and she jumped around, um, whined a lot, and we didn't pay any attention to her. And as soon as she... I could, about two or three minutes ago, she kind of had a little bit of a switch, a little bit of a change. So we petted her a little bit, and now she's getting wound up again because I'm talking and walking around. So usually, I shouldn't talk so much when I'm training, but so I'm going to just flip it around. It's boring, but I just want to show what, what we really are doing with these little guys to try to get them to settle in. So she's only seven and a half weeks, so it's probably the third or fourth fourth or fifth time probably a day that we've done it with her but uh so it's just we're trying to let you guys kind of walk through our place training with us there i'm gonna flip it right now because that's what i want that's perfect now i'll actually come and give her a little bit of attention not much because she doesn't need much but i just want to reaffirm that's what i'm looking for with her so, so like I said, it's pretty boring, but sometimes the stuff we do isn't that exciting, but it's just, you got to be consistent. So I'm just going to film her a little bit more and see if she settles in, and as soon as she does settle in, she'll probably fall asleep, and then I, I, I won't let you make, her, make you watch her sleep, but as soon as she does, she'll fall asleep. Then her routine is she'll get up. She's going to go to the bathroom right away. I'm going to let her go. I'm going to let her go outside, put her, let her do her thing, bring her back in. So that's our routine of just trying to get her to start settling into the way we live here. So I showed before, there's Taylor. That's her spot. She, she's there all the time. Newman, his spot. We've usually got a bed right there, a bed right here. I put this one right here so I can keep an eye on her. But, and then we got the other two that are in their kennels right now. 
we don't even close the doors or anything, but they're just in there. So the, with this little puppy, it's going to be an opportunity for us to probably show you some really boring stuff, but it's the real stuff that we really do um, to try to get them to settle in. And it's easy. Nathan, I haven't had my cup of coffee yet either. 545, where do you live? Now I got her kind of wound up again. That's for me talking, so I'll shut up and we'll just let her settle in. Now that, what she's doing right now, I'm not going to give her any attention for. Guy Williamson, thanks man, appreciate it. Oregon. Nathan, I apologize for waking you up so early. There, that's what I want right there. Mike Mecca, you're proof that you can do it with a pointing dog as well. White Anderson, he's probably not on right now, but he can tell you about the GSPs and how they're able to do it also. Seeing yourself in the reflection, I think. <laughs> Jeff, you remember those things, huh? Bella never whined or anything. So when she gets wound up like that and gets her little excitement, I don't pay any attention to her. I probably shouldn't even be talking right now, but as soon as she settles down, I think part of it is she just kind of gets worn out and frustrated to the point where she gets exhausted. You gotta remember they're really, really little and they just get tired gr by growing. So I'll let her fuss like this without any, any me re responding to it at all. And then as soon as she does just settle down and lay down, 
I might get up and just give her a little bit, a little bit of a pat and tell her she's good. And I don't want to get her up and get her excited again, but I also want her to understand the timing of when she does stuff right. I, I get, I reaffirm it, give her a little bit of praise. But when she's doing stuff I don't like, fussing around, barking, growling, the last thing I want to do is laugh at her because she thinks it's. She thinks she's she's getting her attention that way. I don't want to do that to her. So I'll wait. And I, and she's so little and she's so young, there's no reason to correct it. Her correction is attention and she'll think that it's good. She'll want that. Someone asked, I think, before, the type of bed. It's a Karanda-style cot. We sell them on our website. But what I like about it is you can't, you can't get, she can't get at it to chew on it. So I want to be, she's trying like hell to do it right now, but there's just nothing really for her to get a hold of. So I don't want to give her stuff to chew on just to pacify her time. She'll... All you're doing is training. You're training them to chew. So we don't. You. You. I don't know if you saw before, but I walked. We got a little pen area, a little little fenced-in crate area that she's been in when I'm a camp watcher. There's not a single chew toy in there, and the reason is, is a chew toy is a training tool. It trains your dogs to chew. So don't don't give them stuff that, and teach them habits you don't want them doing. So me talking gets her wound up, so I'm going to shut up again. The only time I'm going to crack like that is if a foot comes off. There. E Bob, good to see good to see you here, man. Uh, your question is you missed the beginning, what's keeping her in the place? Part of it is that defined definition of her her perimeter is elevated. So when she was really little, um, I haven't posted it yet, but I filmed it we filmed it, we didn't do it live, we filmed the very first time we put her on the bed because I knew everyone was gonna call BS on me and go, There's no way. It doesn't they don't stay on those beds like that. I had a gal last week that, that called me because she bought one of our beds and the dog keeps jumping off of it. What should I do? Well, that's what they do. So what we did when she first jumped off, right there, she's getting close. When they jump off, I'm right there to correct them, pick them up, set them back on it, tell them no. So I'm going to do that over and over and over. It's, it's a test of who's got, who will outlast. Ah, 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 ah. Who's going to outlast each other? But eventually, after the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 20th time, I don't care how long it is, when, when they, I put her back up there and she gets to the edge and she tries, thinks she's going to jump off, looks like she's going to jump off, but she hesitates, you can almost see her do a deep sigh there, right here is a change. Very good. Very good. Look at that. That's what I'm looking for. So I'll just tell her she's good, but when she gets to the edge and she's going to try to jump off and I correct it and put her back up and then the, that one time that she goes up and looks like she's going to jump and doesn't, she's going to settle again right now. And as soon as she jump, doesn't jump, I'm right there to praise her and tell her how good she is. And you wouldn't believe how quickly they understand. If I don't jump off here, the old boy's not going to pick on me very much. He's not going to correct me anymore. So they like that. And then they'll do it again, and then they'll do it again, and I can praise them for that, 
And when they get to the edge, I can correct them and put them back. Not real hard, but I can just correct them. There. There's my change. Good. Good. And that's what I'm looking for. So this little video is going to be almost done here. but um, So that's how I do it, Bebop. I get them. After, I, I, I have to outwill them and, and put them back until they don't come off. Then for, there it is again. So three little settles right in a row. Me talking a whole bunch is getting her wound up. But that bed is elevated, so physically she has to put her feet off. She has to step off, and for her, it's kind of a big deal. Like that's that's like me stepping off of a five foot cliff, because it's damn near as tall as she is. So she understands that perimeter pretty easy, and that's.